Good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> this series of videos is about how am I getting through uh, the issues with my husband and that I've been dealing with for six years and being trapped in the relationship. So I'm going to try to explain and update something that happened to me last night as best as I can. Um, okay, um... I use a spiritual practice since 2006 uh, called A Course in Miracles. Um, so I have a lot of the meditational phrases and practices and mental habits and meditational habits with that and I've been meditating or praying for um, relief from the, um, the physical addiction uh, and the withdrawal of the physical addiction that I feel uh, in this romance. I'm physically addicted and in because I'm in love with my husband. And when I'm not getting what I need to supply that physical addiction of romance that leads to sex, and I'm having the withdrawal, I'm constantly crying. And I have been asking for help with... Uh, cutting that physical addiction um, you know off and to keep me from crying uh, keep me from going into the grief and the withdrawal of it when it just never works out that he doesn't continue with the romantic type of attention or emotional closeness uh, and sex that we use that leads to sex and that I had all in the first year of our relationship um, and because I can't leave, I've been studying and using all of these different courses and biological insights that are amazing. Uh, Susan Bratton's Revive Her Drive, the material I shared yesterday in the romance, How Can I Be a More Romantic Man uh, layout, studying myself, the way women's sexuality ticks, the way men's sexuality is, the difference in our brains, going to counseling. Um, so I've been trying all of that, and because none of them were having a long-lasting effect, what with my husband's issues, even though he means well, um, I also applied my spirituality to it. And so last night, for the first time, uh, practicing that, saying something meditational in my husband's presence when I was starting to cry while we were out at dinner uh, it actually worked um, we went out to dinner at Long Doggers because we we were kind of forced together because we had to go pick up his car and get my car and drop his car off we have had air conditioning and maintenance issues and so he suggested we go out to Long Doggers and you know I'm always trepidatious to be alone with him even though I love the invitations he just doesn't give me the kind of romantic attention that I need. I'm always craving more and getting frustrated uh, and possibly yelling and being frustrated and being that bitch or crazy or starting to cry, even in public sometimes. So that's what was happening last night is I was going through that kind of an issue with my husband when we first got to Long Doggers and had to wait for our table. And I, I wasn't able to say my spiritual mantra uh, immediately when I started feeling frustrated with him because he wasn't giving me the masculine romantic attention that he knows to give that's listed on that how can I be a more romantic man and so I was able to turn part of my mind towards my higher power which I consider to be the religious terminology God the Holy Spirit <laughs> And so that helped me to calm down a little bit, but as we got our table and continued to eat, I still stayed in that fix-it mode, that f my body and the physical romance that I was requiring, and I was trying to explain things to him yet again as to how my type of female sexuality works. And, you know, and he acted like he wanted to hear that, but he was kind of shut off a little bit too, but... He was very down and very sad, and so um, that lasted throughout dinner. And then 
when we were on our way home in the car, I was still in it, and because we were private now and not around other people, uh, I felt free to just let my emotions come and just sob if I wanted to. And I started to sob, which is my normal habit for the last six years because I'm frustrated with trying to explain, frustrated with him not learning this. Um, and so as I was doing that, as I was, the tears were starting to kind of come down in the silence in the car as he was driving quietly. I then said, okay, I got to use it to myself. I got to use my spirituality now. Uh, and the first mantra that came to mind was one that I had learned in my uh, spiritual meeting with people that practice this spirituality too. It's called A Course in Miracles. And I used that. I repeated it. I closed my eyes. I didn't probably repeat it exactly because I had just learned it the night before. And so... I said it and it was something like for those of you who are religious who are not religious or not even spiritual you can turn away but just the fact that I've been driven to using this that I've been driven that far and then I had this this calm come over me this I mean it was amazing I said this mantra in my head it was like one sentence and I was just picturing the words that I had learned or that we had read together as a group uh, the previous night over Zoom and this major sense of peace. It was almost like a, it wasn't heavy, but it was more grounded and solid than what I'd ever felt or than what I'd imagined ever happening. I thought I'd be like if this ever happened to me and I was able to stop crying and having that uh, withdrawal from the need to be that I wanted more from my husband. I don't just like little bitty bits of it. I want to be, you know, just taken over by his romantic gestures. I want him to make big, grand, physical, masculine gestures and words and things. And I thought, in, in crying, I thought that if this ever worked, that uh, I would feel high, as high as I do with my husband when he's actually doing the right thing uh, romantically because he does mean well and suddenly this peace just took over my whole body it was almost like a physical feeling and it felt solid and I felt grounded and completely content and I sat with it for a few minutes in the quiet as we were driving I was in the passenger seat and then I opened my eyes to see if that feeling would be there and that I wouldn't feel like crying anymore, that I wouldn't feel crazy or craving the romantic attention or grieving um, the loss of this type of connection with my husband, the loss of that, that uh, physical addiction that I explained in one of my other videos. Check it out if you haven't already watched that video because it is a physical addiction with certain chemicals that bond uh, a woman falling in love to her man. And so um, I felt that and then it lasted the rest of the evening. When he separated himself from me as soon as we went into the house, as he usually does, I wasn't concerned about getting more of this romantic attention. I wasn't following him around or I wasn't staying by myself and crying and grieving. So I had become a non-junkie for romance with him. And he actually ended up seeking me out later, which is weird because he never does that either. And he was able to come up physically and sit next to me. And I kind of said, hey, you know, I remember I told you I do that little spiritual thing in my head to try to get on top of things so that I'm not always crying around you and in our interactions and stuff. And he's like, yeah. And I said, well, this time it worked. I started to cry in the car, and you know that I was kind of whimpering, you know, in the restaurant while I was trying to talk to you or just be next to you and eat, and he said, yeah, and I said, well, this time it worked, and then I just, uh, I wasn't concerned. I mean, he reached over and touched my hand. We sat on the outdoor couch on the patio for a while, and then eventually his daughter came out, and she irritates me. <laughs> I try to just leave her to herself, and don't get involved with anything she has to say or anything but she's here sometimes and sometimes she's not so she came out on the patio and did her smoking thing and 
I still didn't go back into withdrawal or neediness or feeling like I needed. I just had this f almost physical feeling of groundedness and inner peace. And I just had to share it with you. And here is the A Course in Miracles I, that I came across. This is the first book I came across. It's called The Disappearance of the Universe. That introduced me to what I then moved on to. That was by Gary Renard. I may put the link down there in the description. And then this is the eventual text and workbook and manual for teachers and some other materials in there that I then began to use once I got through the text and was doing the, the workbook. I did it all in order. It's called A Course in Miracles. Maybe you can see there. It's from the Foundation for Inner Peace, something like that. And I've been practicing this before, long before I even knew my husband, and now it's finally working. I used to have to separate myself physically when I would start crying and couldn't get control of it, and he wasn't doing anything to help or he was making it worse, and I would have to physically separate myself from him, but last, and I would not, I still was not able to feel like an instantaneous um, feeling of groundedness and peace. Um, and so I just wanted to share that, that if things have gotten that bad for you, you may try spirituality, and that's the spirituality that I use, so thanks. And I'm still with that sense of peace today.